Hi, this is Patrick Brennan, Information Librarian in charge of all things young adult here at the Malden Public Library in Malden, Massachusetts. I will be posting some live and some pre-recorded book reviews, um, some discussions, things like that this summer uh, as far as summer reading suggestions here every Monday. Uh, thank you for taking the time to view this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or call the library and feel free to ask for Patrick. Uh, this week we're looking at an author that is on the suggested summer reading list for grades 6, 7th, and 8th uh, from the Malden Public School System. It's a book in Chris, Chris Colfer's uh, series of, of fantasy novels called A Tale of Magic. Um, it fits nicely into the summer reading uh, theme of Tales and Tales. It has tale in the, the title, but is also a, a fairy tale of sorts. I picked this book as one of the three summer giveaway titles as well. So if you uh, or your teen sign up for the young adult summer reading program. If you read five or more hours in a week uh, while we have supplies, uh, you can get this book for free as one of your free weekly prizes. Every week that you read five hours or more, there's a, a prize box right behind the information desk and you can pick up, um, well, if you read all six weeks, you can get all the books and some more prizes. But this is a, uh, one of a few books that's going to be in the prize bin. We're going to talk about it this week. So let's talk about um, Chris Colfer, the author, uh, a little bit, and uh, let's talk about A Tale of Magic. Uh, Chris Colfer, you might have read some of his other books. He has a very popular book series called The Land of Stories, uh, and it started with the, the first book, I think there are six in the series. The first one is called uh, Wishing Spell. And so there are five books after that one. And it primarily follows a couple of characters. And it goes through the tales of myth and you know fairy tales, things like that. The main characters are siblings and they meet some, some characters you've probably read or heard stories of, maybe you've watched the movies that have them in them. So they meet Cinderella, they meet Goldilocks, uh, Red Riding Hood, uh, characters like that. Uh, we have all of those books here in the library, uh, the Land of Stories books. Uh, so if you want to borrow them, um, come right in and we can request them for you, pull them off the shelves if we have them in stock. Uh, but the good thing about A Tale of Magic is this is a um a new series and it's a, a new story book in in a story world and you don't have to read his other books um in order to enjoy this one so that is a whole complete series and this is the first book in a new series and i believe it's just called a tale of magic series so it's the first book and the name of the series uh, but like I said, you know, don't need don't need to read the other ones to enjoy it. it. This is kind of a prequel to the Land of Stories. So yeah, this book comes technically before the other ones. So definitely don't need to read them if chronologically it becomes comes before it. Uh, so let me give you a brief synopsis of this book, and from that maybe you can see if it's something that might interest you something you want to come by the library and pick up. Uh, this is indeed a fantasy novel. Uh, you're going to see magic powers and fantasy creatures like unicorns, fairies, things like that. If you've ever read or enjoyed Harry Potter or the Percy Jackson series, you might also enjoy this fantasy series. The fantasy books like this, they're a lot of fun because you know you can kind of imagine yourself in that world, what you would do in that situation, and take yourself out of uh, the real world a little bit for a little while. Um, you can kind of pretend like you're the main character, and the main character of this book, though, is a teen. Uh, 
the main character of A Tale of Magic is a character named um, Bristol Evergreen, who's a 14-year-old girl, and she gets invited to study magic under the tutelage of a, uh, a woman who kind of discovers her, the mysterious Madame Weatherberry. And you find out in the book, you know, it's fairly big news that uh, Bristle can perform magic, can use magic, because in the, the, the setting where she grows up, it is outlawed. You're not allowed to use magic. So beginning of the novel has her using her powers and trying to hide that from the people around her. But Madame Weatherberry comes along and explains, you know, it's, it's okay to use magic. You just have to kind of train yourself. So takes her to a place where she's able to hone her powers, an academy of, of magic. And if that doesn't sound a little bit like Harry Potter, um, then uh, it, it is kind of similar. Um, but yeah, the main conflict of this book uh, does come when at the Academy of Magic, Madame Weatherberry goes missing uh, under some mysterious circumstances. And Bristol and her, her new magical friends that are studying alongside her decide that they want to try and uncover what happened to, to their professor, their new teacher friend. Uh, so, you know, like I said, who's interested in this book? If you've read any young adult fantasy before, you'll probably find it interesting. Like I said, the Percy Jackson series, Harry Potter, if you've read those, this is going to be right up your alley. It's going to feel um, kind of similar in plot and characters, but this author, Chris Colfer, is going to give you a, a bit of a, a new take on that story. It does look pretty thick, maybe a little intimidating, but it's a very fast read. By the time you get through this first book, you know, you, you can probably race through this very easily in a week of just a few hours of reading here or there. But if you do get done with this first book, uh, there's already a sequel out, um, uh, a book called A Tale of Witchcraft. And you can come by the library or make reservations yourself to get that book. Um, right, so that's going to do it for the quick review of A Tale of Magic. Uh, if, like I said, you want a free copy of this book, um, come by the, the Malden Library, sign up for the Teen Summer Reading Program, and five hours or more a week that you read and log, you can get uh, free copies of any of the, the books that we have while, while we have free copies of them, or you can just borrow them uh, with your library card. Uh, that is going to do it for, for this week. Uh, I want to thank you guys for, for watching this. Uh, th for those of you that have signed up already for the summer reading list, uh, thank you um, so much for, for reading and logging your hours during the, the program is going on for another five weeks and we have a ton of events. We have grab and go craft bags, some online programs and some, some craft programs and things like that on the lawn of the library. Library is open and uh, we're, we're excited to get back into our, our summer programming spirit. Uh, so yeah, once again, feel free to call the library, go on to, www.malvinpubliclibrary.org to sign up for some reading and to check our calendar. We've got something basically happening every day that the library is open here. So uh, once again, thank you again, and you guys have a great rest of your summer.